from the earliest days of digital audio, we used sampling methods and reconstruction methods. And the sampling happens, you know, when you capture the sound, the A to D conversion, which used brick wall filters. The sampling theorem mathematically leads you in that direction. The problem with the brick wall filters is although they're perfect in frequency, they smear time. What this means is that if a, if a sound comes along, as a transient comes along, the output starts to build up to that transient and then it decays from that transient. This is very, very unnatural. There's nothing in the natural world that behaves like that. If you snap the twig, you hear the crack and then you hear the decay. If you hit a piano, you hear the start of the note and it dies away. So with MQA, we use the right filters or we fix these filters at both ends. Because if we have the timing wrong, we might smear them together and you just think, that's kind of a weird instrument. And if, it, if we separate it, tease them apart. And you can hear it and you can enjoy it. And you don't even necessarily know you're doing that. It's just that it sounds natural and you smile. And that's one of the great things about MQA is that it sounds natural.